we will be configuring an on-delay timer in Network 1 of the block. We start by programming the condition to start the timer, a normally open contact in this example. We then find the on-delay timer, a TON element, in the basic instructions catalog and drag and drop it onto the line. Because the timer is actually a standard function block, an instance data block will be assigned by the system for it. A call options pop-up will allow you to give the data block a unique name and allow you to designate a block number manually if desired. The system generated name and or block number can be accepted without change. In the example, we will accept the system generated values. At the PT input, enter the delay time desired, 5000 milliseconds in this example. The ET output provides the elapsed time as the timer times out toward the set point. We will enter a storage location at this output to enable monitoring of the timer. The Q output goes high after the delay time has been reached. We will use a coil element in the example to monitor the timer operation. We will now download the block to the PLC. And click the eyeglass icon in the block menu bar to monitor the block elements. With a high at the N input, the timer starts timing as displayed at the ET output. When the elapsed time equals the delay time programmed at PT, the output Q goes high. The timer resets when N goes low. And the timer starts over with the next high at N. But resets before timing out if N goes low before the elapsed time equals the time entered at PT.